herself living in the middle of nowhere. That's Saf, she's right there. It's warm out. Go lay in the shade. Lay down. Okay, so today is it's the generator, the wind generator. This thing right behind me. All that stuff. So what you see here, these are the bearings. Those are for the gearing setup, which that is, okay? These are 72 teeth, and these are 14 teeth. It's all going to be half in shaft, except for this one. This one is going to be on the end of that. So you can see there's like a little ring part of the way up there. That's because that's where the bottom of this one maxes out. This is 0.67. That's 0.625 because it's 5 eighths. So I got to take a sandpaper and I got to sand that down. Yeah, I know. I said sanding. I know it's one of the worst things. All I got to really do is bring down this piece here uh, just enough. Like I don't have to do the full thing. So what I'll be using is this nut, which that went on there from before, and that will hold it in place. And with it being flat, it'll hold it flush. As long as this stays flush, I'll be good. So, got my sandpaper, and, oh, I got the wrong bit on there. I was doing some other stuff first. So I took off all the mounts. I have to make a bracket that goes along it, because, well, I'm going to use this as uh, the mounting point. So I'll have a plate of steel go around. It'll have to be two pieces, because I don't want to have, like, cut a hole in that. And the problem is this here, this counterweights. Now I have, these have to come off because there's nothing on the other side. So this is five eight. No, nope, oh seventeen. I'll show you something. It, it vibrates a lot. Yeah, so that's quite a pain in the ass. These bearings here, these are for those shafts I already said. But how they're going to be done is I'm going to have to do like a slot. Because I'm going to use this angle iron here. I've got eight feet of it. Yeah, I'm going to do it on my deck instead of in the garage. Because really I can't do any grinding or anything. Because the engine is still not complete uh, for the Mustang. I won't tell you, but that one will be uh, on the go soon. I just got to wait for one part to come in. If you knew what part it was, that messed up, I bought wrong, that's what's coming in. Okay, so <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt. First things first, just <clears throat> bring this up here. So it's just a matter of, so I have to move out of the way, please. Ugh. So I'm going to put that there, and I have my clamps here. I'll just clamp that down there. And then cut off the lengths I need. Because it's mainly I'm going to put two on there. Just so I have uh, a base for something in the center. Oops. So I have something in the center. Because you got to remember. Motor or the motor bolts in here. These two holes here end up there. But it comes up to about maybe here. I think. Wherever it, wherever it comes up to. I have to make a mounting bracket for it. So this mount will just like slide over with the angle iron and then just bolt it onto this. I do have the old, the old bolts like this one here because this doesn't come out. There's actually two mount two bolts that come in there and you just unbolt it, two or three. But yeah, I don't have the electrical stuff out here because I'm not worried about that. But I remember I still have the old video so that's what's going to save me on uh, remembering where to put everything. Otherwise, I'll be screwed. Yep. All right. Now to cutting. Hey, Seth. There's one of these two, and that lines up with this one over here. I don't have any bolt holes that technically line up. This one here lines up. Yeah, so I th I'm pretty sure it's this one here. It's going to sort of line up with this one on the outside here because it's different from the engine into the generator. I drilled that hole. Okay, so you can see these are the two pieces cut off. This, how you can see they're like that. Well, because this would be like that and you wouldn't see the diagrams. Okay, this is for the faceplate side. And this is for the back side. So what it's going to do. 
we're gonna see pretty much like that flip this over there we go and that's just gonna line up and I'm gonna bolt that on top and that'll be the generator will sit there I don't care if it's on an angle a bit it doesn't matter because I can weld it and if afterwards it's just I need a basis all the way across so I can build a bracket for the other piece that's gonna come up because without these two here it's nothing that's gonna support it okay that's I know it's a lot thicker steel than what it is there but okay so these here I am gonna bring in the garage because I'm gonna use the drill press that they're gonna take a little harder than this cheap little pup can steel here I have these in here they're bolted okay so I'm gonna leave these bolts or nuts off I just have this here to have it canted up because you know it is what it is so I'm gonna rest that motor there on that there and just see where I have to go then I can mark it with a marker to mark right here and right here I'll laugh right here that's where I gotta mark it there. Little thumb fingernail dust. So, oh, let's just see. I'm gonna need two hands. I was close. There's my old fingernail mark. And it's right on the end. So it's technically where the motor would have ended. So if I took these little bolts that are in there and I meant it there, I could mount it right here. See this here? This won't move. Oh, I'll try to keep it. Like it moves a bit, but it, that's torqued down. Well, torque as much as that uh, drill, or sorry, the impact saw, ran, ratchet. Or, wow, I can't talk today. And that's not an impact ratchet. <sighs> and an impact drill. Okay, so. You know, it gives people an idea. That, so I've got to get that other piece right on here. That is the first, one of the first fucking steps. I could just do the bottom plate. Put an angle iron right on there. Put a hole, a bolt through the bottom of those, and then that's it. That's all I would need. This, I just make like a, sh a shroud. So that's all it is. That's fucking dead simple. Just like, uh, um, you know what? I'll, I'll go take the uh, the old uh, motor, see what's left of it, gut the insides, and see if I can take the shell and just put it back over. It'd be like the uh, bottom end of the crank. Here's that plate. And yeah, you see how it's like a different size? Because I'm just like, I don't want to have to drill and shit. So, as you can see, that's my ground for my welder. Just got a little cheap little MIG welder. But what I'm going to do is, because you see how I, I kind of messed it up. So that bolt hole up there, that there, is not the same height as that one. I fucked it up. So you can see there's like kind of a gap in between. I don't know, can you see that? Uh, kind of a gap there, where up top here, there's not. So, I'm going to do like a little shot there and a little shot there. And and that's where I'll be putting it on here. So, the top piece will get the first one. Actually, if I'm doing the top, I'll put the clamp right on there. Put it on this bar. And, yeah. And I'm stuck with my crappy one because I can't find my good one. And someone decided to use a grinder with my welding mask. Yeah. That's... So bad. <laughs> okay, so there's my shitty weld job there. See if it'll focus. So focus on the fence. There we go. Focus there. See, shitty weld job, but it'll hold. And same with up there. There you go. Focus. And I did it in the back. So if it focuses, like fucking Christmas time, there we go. Yeah, it's in there. And same on the other side. So I'm not going to bother flipping it. So, and I've torqued everything down. So it's all done to what I need. Now the next step is literally... <clears throat> See, now this thing will not move. See, damn counterweights. They're, they're kind of heavy, so I'm going to have to fix something up with that. Now the next step, obviously, <clears throat> let's bring it up a little higher again. Ah, uh, here, you get to watch it as I lift. <sighs> a little vibration. Or a little wiggly. <laughs> oh, shit. I should have it backwards. That way, we don't... But that way... Uh, 
Now it's really hard doing this with the phone. I really need to get a new camera. Oh, I hear her whining. Come on. Yeah, so when welding, I don't leave my dog outside with me. I care about her eyes too. So if you have animals, put them inside the house. They're stupid, they'll look at the bright light and they'll go blind. This is my companion dog. I need her to live as long as possible and I need her eyes as long as possible. Right? Big fat. Okay. Now I gotta clean up this. Just, that's gonna be fun. Really, really fun. As a sarcasm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to show you this, how I do it. So, you can see, oh, there's a file and there's a drill. You can tell the file, like you can see how it's gone down a bit. That's just for me holding the file and rubbing it downwards. I'm gonna try to set up my camera right here. But you gotta remember that thing vibrates. Just take my finger out of the way. Okay, so let's hope it doesn't vibrate too much. I'll do it for a bit. So, I hit the drill. I don't know how loud that was. <sighs> Editing will show me, but you can see how it's ground down. Okay, now take this off. Where is that piece? Well, look at that. I'd say that's pretty fucking goddamn good. And you now all I do left. It ain't moving. Now what I can do is just do a weld job there, but you know what? I don't have to even weld that. Something I do gotta weld is that sprocket. So that's how that works. That's a weld on sprocket, so I'm gonna do like little touches on there. That's gonna be really hard for me because <laughs> I suck at welding. Okay, I run into a snag. This gear, perfectly. It goes and fits in this, okay? This is a 36 uh, teeth per per so much. Okay. Fits there. But as soon as you put it in here, it won't fit. See. The problem is, you see how much space this is here? Well, on this side, the big shaft piece, the outside diameter of that doesn't leave it. And that's where I've been having the problem with this one. This is the one I started with. This is the 5 8 one because it goes on the shaft that I fixed or modified down. So luckily I didn't that this is here is set up for a 5 8 Okay? You put that on and then you tighten the nut down. I'll get a lock washer to put down too. But now that's fucking useless. That gear is useless. This is fine. Now this has to be either a 16 or an 18. I've got to check to see how much space it will be. Because I need to know that this will, this much space will be left on this side while it's on here. You know, This is what I get to see on this side, but on here. So, ugh, don't want my chain to fall. Yes. Oh, and if you're doing this with a chain, you need one of these. This is a link breaker. I got that when I was doing dirt, when I was dirt biking back in Nanaimo and and Victoria, as well as in the military with a buddy. You can go V belt if you want. Sure, you don't have all all this stuff here, but once it's going, that also is, makes it hard to decelerate too. You know, it's like counterweights. <laughs> Speaking of counterweights, those got to get fixed. Yeah. So that so I'm gonna leave it at right now for that. But here's my mathematics. This here 
will spin at 3600 RPMs because that's going to be on generator. And that will hook up to this 72T. So at this gearing I had it at 14 to 72, that will stay on the same shaft and there will be two of these bearings on either either side of this shaft and then two bearings on either side of this shaft. Okay, this will get hooked up to either another gear that'll be one to one. Okay, <laughs> so this one, this tooth to this, and that reduces it to 5.14, and then 5.14 again, turns out to be like 136 revolutions for 3600 RPMs. Okay, yes, yeah, Steph, we're gonna go inside soon. I know, it's getting late. Uh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to be. This is. See what I deal with? It's a big suck. I know. Hey, you relax. No. Yeah. <laughs> you can see. I, I can't even. Uh, say, hey, look at me. <coughs> hey. <coughs> no. Go get your wood. Yes, she chews on wood and stuff like that. Okay. So, I gotta get this done quick. <laughs> Oh, what a pain in the ass this dog is. Um, this has to change. That'll be into probably a 16 or an 18, which is fine. And that whole piece, so the 5 eighths and that has to be. So that way when I weld it, and it, it'll all work. But I'm Duff, living in the middle of nowhere. That's part three for your wind pedal, whatever... Whatever you want to turn it to. It's just gearing it down and making it useful by hand or natural resources. Because really, wind, the problem is going to be not in this. Okay? It's going to be how you can catch all that wind and that and that blade, well, the blades on the, on the fan have to catch all the wind and enough force. So you, what you're probably going to need to do is something I'll show later on. If I go wind, I'll try wind, but it's going to be hard. All right, that's me. Like, subscribe, comment, and like always, have a good one.